And we are here with Carrie Silken from Ring of Honor. Carrie, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. Nice to see you guys. Carrie, I'd like to start off with asking you, what is your vision for ROH? Um, you know, it's, it's an interesting period and it's an interesting question considering my position of, you know, selling the company to uh, Sinclair, still being involved. But uh, I think the vision at this point has always really been what it was and it's just been to slowly take steps to get to the next level. Obviously, the acquisition of you know, Sinclair acquiring the product gives us uh, tremendous opportunities that you know, I just couldn't provide. You know, when you're able to uh, have 35 markets, you know, almost a quarter of the country on broadcast television, you're at a tremendous advantage. But with that in mind, and I don't want to speak for Joe Koff, and you'll speak to him later, uh, it's still being done in a very slow, calculated way. And uh, I'm looking, so to, to really to answer the question, the vision is just to continue as we always have and just slowly make it to the next level. And uh, but the opportunity now is uh, a lot, a lot it, it, it's a lot more, it's a lot more attainable to make the next level with this opportunity with Sinclair. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Kerry, how do you see ROH as um, being different from, uh, let's say, WWE and TNA Impact, as they like to be called now? I mean, this, this is pro wrestling as a sport, and it's the pro wrestling uh, that I believe in and the people that, I think historically in Ring of Honor, the people that have always been involved, some that are not with us anymore, some that are still with us, we always had a, you know, a vision to... Uh, that you know, we, we wanted to uh, present a product that we ourselves liked and not to insult the fans' intelligence and something that we ourselves you know, believed in. And uh, the, to compare it with the, uh, the other companies, I mean, both companies uh, do some really good stuff, but uh, we're just different. And this is, you know, we come, you know, the TV show comes across, I believe, as, you know, some really serious good television as opposed to, uh, you know, pushing characters and uh, a million ridiculous cameras everywhere where they shouldn't be. And, you know, we try to make this, you know, we this is a, a sensible, you know, pro wrestling uh, presentation. Excellent. Now, Kerry, who do you see personally, we'll ask you personally, as the top star, the top dog of our Ring of Honor at this present moment? Well, if they, if you're going to pin me down like that, you know, <laughs> we, I got to, that's all right. That's all right. Um, it's hard to answer that straight away, but, uh, you know, Davy Richards, he's our world's champ. And, uh, the, the, ma you know, the kind of wrestling I like, you know, the matches that he's had over the last few years, particularly over the last year have just been phenomenal. But, you know, uh, the question leaves me open to have to mention a couple other people, you know, uh, the Briscoes, you know, two of the Babe Ruths of Ring of Honor, been here since <laughs> since two Babe Ruths and one, and that's that's important for Baltimore. Uh, have been here since day one, and uh, there's so many talented guys. But uh, I'll, I'll leave your question alone. With right now, the man is the, he's the champion. It's Davey Richards. That, that, that was that was a safe and probably accurate uh, uh, response there. And let me tell you, I've, I've been in the ring with the Briscoes, and they are indeed tough. Uh, so, uh, Kerry, I um, just want to ask you, are you satisfied with how Ring of Honor weekly TV show is going? Is this how you anticipated it? Absolutely. I mean, it's it's still uh, a work in progress, but if someone who really knows wrestling watches the, the competition, this is a whole different animal. And uh, it's just a matter of getting uh, eyes on the product and it's like it's I really feel you know deep down you know I mean uh, the, you know people are, you know if you like wrestling you're gonna love this and you know the show once again not to be redundant does not insult anyone's intelligence it makes perfect sense it's uh, it explains things you know uh, to the to the new to the new viewer and uh, it tells a hell of a story and uh, I think it's awesome Excellent. I, I think a lot of our fans uh, know now that Ring of Honor is probably one of is the, unfortunately, the last stop with p real pro wrestling. You know, mm -hmm. and um, I, I know our fans uh, love the product. Uh, as do we on Inside the Squared Circle. Um, now, lastly, I just want to ask you: What are your goals? What goals do you have, or the company have, uh, for this coming year, 2012? Um, 
I think it's just to keep doing, you know, the best wrestling TV, getting more eyes on the product. Um, I think you'll see us in a few new markets, you know, based on uh, where the TV is being shown. And uh, just to have another kick-ass year of, of pro wrestling. And, uh, you know, it's going to, it's just going to, it's going to take a while. You know, the TV is still a young, it's like a young child <laughs> just coming out, you know, and uh, it's an exciting year. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, too, to see what's going to happen. I, I think a lot of it's still in the planning stage, but uh, it's going to unfold in the next few months. So I appreciate your time. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carrie. You're welcome.